Hello again, viewers. How are you today? God bless you. My name is Biodu Shegu, pastor of Treasure House of God, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Hemelemstead. And today we're reading from the Open Heavens Devotional uh, by Pastor Adeboye. Our topic today is more than conquerors. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 36 and 37. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And our memory verse is taken from Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Our reflections from today. If you have read your Open Heavens Daily Guide today, you would have read a very vivid analogy that Pastor Adeboye made on the meaning of more than conqueror. According to him, for example, if a boxer goes to the ring and fights and defeats his opponent, and when he receives his prize and takes the prize home, and the person he hands it over to will be his wife. Now, the wife did not enter the ring to fight, but she receives the prize on a platter of gold. Pastor Adeboe likened that to a way, to the way that Jesus, our bridegroom, engaged the devil and won the victory and made us more than conquerors. Now, woman, if you have not been receiving gifts or blessings, such glorious prize from your husband, today's your day, in the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Jesus was beaten, wounded, spat upon, crucified before he won the victory for us, according to Pastor Adeboe. Another way that a person can be regarded as more than conqueror will be if he has won several battles or several wars. There are several enemies we need to contend with, and one of such enemies is generational curses. These are curses that run in the family. The, this, the case of Reuben is, is, is what was is supposed here. Reuben received a curse from his father in the book of Genesis chapter 48, Verses 1 to 4, and from that point, no one in his lineage was able to excel. I'm praying for you today that the power of God will break that curse in your family in the name of Jesus. He took prayers for the lineage of Reuben not to have been wiped out in the Bible. Another pathetic case is that of Gehazi. As a reward for his greed, he became a leper, and unfortunately, all his future generations had to become lepers. The family of Eli would have been produced priests forever in Israel. But as a result of disobedience, they were all wiped out. Generational curses are very serious. And if you are finding such, such curses operating or signs of such curses operating in your family or running through your family, you need to do something about it. If you've noticed the pattern of events going on in your family that is contrary to the word of God, you've got to do something about it. Now, you need to do something about it today by going to the Lord, of, the Lord of Lords to blot out the curse from your family. You also need to be careful so you don't bring any curse upon yourself or your lineage. If there's anything you are doing or about to do that could bring curse upon you, repent today. Immediately ask for mercy from the Lord. The Lord is merciful. He will surely hear your cry today and it will be well with you in Jesus' name. Our key point, a believer is an agent of change. If what affects some believers in your lineage affects you. It shows you have not fully appropriated Christ's victory on the cross. Go ahead. Claim what God has done for you today. Access the blood of Jesus. Access the fire of the Holy Ghost and let it cleanse you. Let it remove every curse in your lineage in the name of Jesus. God will empower you. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. God bless you. Bye-bye.